Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Animalia part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will move to the next phylum that is Hemichordata. Now this name itself tells a lot of information about this. Hemi means half. Chordata means chordates. So hemi is half and chordata refers to chordates. So half chordates. You know what are chordates, right? When I spoke about notochord, I told you whichever animal have called notochord, they are called chordates. So the last phylum is chordate and this is the last second phylum. So hemichordata means they have a lot of similarity with chordata, but they are not chordata. So they are called hemichordata. In fact, earlier this hemichordata was put under the phylum chordata but later it was found that these organisms have more similarities with the chinoderms than with chordates that is why they were put into a separate phylum known as hemichordata so they have complex body differentiation body is bilaterally symmetrical body is made up of three layers that is triploblastic they are silomates having a true silom presence of stomochord now chordates chordates are defined by presence of notochord but in this case there is no notochord present but there is a chord which is present which is called stomochord stomochord is nothing but a mouth chord so due to the presence of this chord like structure it was earlier confused with the chordates but later it was seen that it was not the notochord which was present it was actually a mouth chord these organisms are mostly, mostly sedentary that is they do not move from one place to another they are immobile organ system level of organization they are marine let us look at an example Belanoglossus is a very uh, common example of hemichordata. However, under this phylum hemichordata, we do not have a very large number of species. There are just a couple of species which exist under this phylum, maybe some 80 to 90 species exist. So that is very small in number. Right? It is like it is some countable number of species exist. So not too many very common examples. So but if you talk about um, the structure, so now talking about the structure of a hemichordate, the body basically consists of three parts. So broadly there are three parts of the body. The first part is a proboscis. The second part is a collar. And the third part is a trunk. So these are the three basic parts of the body of a homo hemichordata so trunk is this entire remaining part is trunk so these are broadly the three important parts other than that here you can see the structures these are the gills right also here you will see that dorsal and ventral nerve cords are present. Dorsal and ventral blood vessels are also present. So here this side you will have the dorsal blood vessel. This side you will have the ventral blood vessel. So similarly the dorsal ventral nerve cord and the dorsal ventral nerve vessels are also present. Now let us see what are the purpose of each of these three important parts. That is proboscis, collar and trunk. What is, what is the function or what is the purpose that they solve? Now, another important part which I didn't discuss is stomochord. As I said, stomochord is a mouth cord. It is a structure which is present in the collar region. So this collar region, in this collar region somewhere here, you have a stomochord. So many people confuse this stomochord with notochord and that is why they grouped it under chordata. But later on further study it was seen that more of its characteristics were similar to uh, an echinoderm than to a chordate. That is why they were put separately as hemichordates. So here we can see that this gills then open to a pharynx and then the pharynx opens to the stomochord. So this is the stomochord. So let us look at the different organ systems in case of hemichordata. The digestive system, they have a complete digestive system with a separate mouth and anus. Respiratory system, they have gills which help in respiration. 
nervous system they have dorsal and ventral nerve cords as i say the dorsal and ventral nerve cords they run throughout the length of the body somewhat like this so you have one nerve cord running like this again you have another nerve cord running somewhere like this so there are dorsal and ventral nerve cords present throughout the body circulatory system they again have dorsal heart and dorsal ventral blood vessels so very similar to the nerve cords there are blood vessels also which run like this so dorsal and ventral blood vessels are present on top of that there is a dorsal heart which is also present excretory system they have the proboscis gland which help in excretion so here inside the proboscis region you have a proboscis gland which actually helps in excretion right now we will talk about the reproduction here sexes are separate fertilization is external because they are marine so see this is a general uh, uh, sense that in most of the organisms which are marine the fertilization is generally external that is they give out their gametes and the fusion happens outside their body development is indirect because a larval stage is involved thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.